The new trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse starts with Miles Morales his mother telling him to take care of himself and that's advice he really should take to heart because he's about to wind up in a really sticky situation where a whole multiverse worth of spider people are after him by who are these faces some familiar and some new here's every spidey we've identified from the Across the Spider-Verse trailer. So hi guys my name is Lena, Alok's friend and you are watching Alok's same YouTube channel. After the chat with mom the trailer picks up where the first movie left off with Spider-Gwen reuniting with Miles and whisking him away across the Spider-Verse want to get out of here and hey look at that Miles has a new PSU Gwen takes Miles to it appears to be a base of operations for it despite he's a nexus in the Spider-Verse in the comics. The Web Warriors headquarters was called Loom World a location they assumed control of after defeating the villainous inheritor Loom World was special because from there they could access the web of life and destiny to traverse the spider verse this base in the film doesn't exactly look like Loom World but either way it's where we see all manner of spiders of all different shapes colors and sizes now while some of these bodies we recognize a lot of them appear to be brand new original design created just for this movie so we are going to list the ones we've identified and have a little been speculating about the others starting on the ceiling there's a spider man with a glowing suit that reminds us of the velocity suit and the mark for armor next up there is the playstation spider man with his signature white spider symbol on the left is a spidey sporting the black and gold bulletproof spider armor mark to on the right we see spin around check the superhero alias of mary jane watson parker and the little one next to her in the helmet is any may parker daughter of nj and peter the spidey with the mechanical legs on her back is made well riley aka a steampunk lady spider that one conducting traffic may be a redesigned spider cop that's monk of our spider man at the top and yes he is doing the naruto right we are going to go on the right we see none other than a werewolf spider man and on the left is the bombastic bad man who makes a couple appearances in this trailer bears peter b parker eating a snack naturally he's sporting a baby carrier this time which he uses for little me day parker looks like thing i went well for him after the events of the first movie where we last saw him bringing flowers to mj in a bit to get back together well looks like they did get back together and now he's a spider dad next up making a bad as entrance on a motorcycle is a new major player in the spider verse jessica drew a spider woman voiced by isa rare she's fighting the vulture or voiced by your mentor Kony although the vulture is either really dirty or perhaps this is a variant merged with the sandman if you look closely spider woman appears to be pregnant just like she was during one of her major story arcs in the comics and here is the futuristic spidey teased at the end of the first movie Miguel O'Hara Rake Spider-Man 2099 voiced by Oscar Isaac from what we've seen here and in the first teaser Spider-Man 2099 starts out as an antagonist who was after Miles for some reason and that reason clearly has something to do with the little girl Gabrielle pictured on the screen in the comics Miguel has a brother named Gabriel so this is like here Either Muggles' daughter named Gabriel's honor or maybe Muggles' nice either way Kingpin's motivation to create the Super Collider in the first film revolved around getting lost family members back so maybe a case by the 29 the wrong idea but even though Miguel and Miles are at odds they'll probably sort things out and team up to fight Thay. Real villain and classic comic book fashion the real villain was already revealed to be the spot although he does appear in this trailer in director Cam Power said that he will also be in the sequel Beyond the Spider-Verse it's not long before this Fridays are all after miles and we get a look at superior Spider-Man who is actually Doctor Octopus secretly in control of Peter's body so watch out for that one on the right the black and white spidey is reminiscent of the on your Corazon spider girl although she is missing her signature ponytail so it may not be her Miles is tackled by a spidey with six arms and well we can't identify this particular character having eight like yeah just like a real spider is a freakish condition spider-man is often had to deal with in the past on the left that looks like he made a version of spider girl and then miles is also tackled by armored spider-man and then spider-man zero entered the fray and he is of course the spider-man from fortnite in a blanket you miss it short we catch a glimpse of what looks an awful lot like the mcu spider-man specifically to suit scene in far from home i to holland maybe everyone a whole heap of spiders give chase and one particular seems to have the same color and design as the classic villain shocker this other spidey has a similar design to kane's red in black scarlet spider suit in the forefront that looks like earth act spider-man and in the background there's spider monkey from the marvel apes universe that spidey in the cape is spider-man unlimited and then the trailer wraps up as spider 2099 finally catches up with miles morales as for what happens next we'll have to wait and see 
when Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse releases on June 2, 2023. Thanks for watching. Those are all the Spideyers we spotted in the trailer. Which one are you most excited for? And did you notice any one that we missed? Let us know in the comments. See you next time for here on IGN. Who do you think? We are supposed to be the Chi Chi's we are. Thanks a lot for watching the whole video. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, I suggest you to subscribe to our YouTube channel Alok Senator.